Hello guys, how are you? Hopefully, all of you are doing well. So our topic for this time is that we're gonna circumcise the male guppy ribbon type of guppy fish. Because if we do not circumcise that male, it will only result 10% chance that he could uh, impregnate the female. So to enable the male to in 100% impregnate the female, so we're gonna cut his gonopodium so that he could deposit his sperm well to the female. And as what well, you can see at my back, um, my friend gave me this EBM type of guppy fish. But the problem is they are exp they experience too much inbreeding. So what we're gonna do, he wants me to, to make this kind of strain back into their original state. And also we have here the other tank, we have a beautiful delta type of EBM but the problem is that he is a ribbon type of gapfish so what we're gonna do today is to circumcise him so to enable him to breed to pass down his genes to our female all right but before anything else guys if you're new here please consider subscribing to get updated whenever we have new uploads so let's get into the video so we have here the inbreed kind of EBM or electric blue musco gapfish I got this from my friend and the problem was the male has already abstained from their quadolphins due to too much inbreeding. But there's no problem with the female because it has already a good pattern and a solid color. Guppies are small freshwater fishes that are popular in aquariums around the world. Unlike many fishes where males and females squirt their sperm and eggs into the surrounding water just like goldfish. But agape males fertilize females by delivering sperm into their bodies. They don't have a penis as such. Instead, they have a modified a fin into a penetrating fin called a gonopodium. So in other hand, one of my friends also brought me a ribbon type of EBM that has a beautiful delta tail and with good color pattern. But the only problem was it has only a 10% chance that he could impregnate the female as what experience in keeping guppy fish for a long period of time. So what we're going to do today is to circumcise him to enable the male guppy to pass down his genes to our female here. And of course, it will have a good result soon. <laughs> Trust me. Well, with Ribbon's type of guppy fish, you do have two choices to breed them. First, the male use should be a young male where the gonopodium must not enlarge yet. Secondly, use one of the adult males that has not got an elongated gonopodium, or just like that. Because when you are breeding ribbon type guppy fish, it will result ribbon type and non ribbon type of guppy fish. And with my own experience, if the ribbon type male impregnates the ribbon type female, it will result 60 to 70 percent ribbon type of offspring. But it's too risky because there's only 10% chance that the female will get pregnant. And when you have non-ribbon male and breed to ribbon female, it will result 30 to 50% ribbon type of offspring. Keeping and breeding ribbons will result into two kinds of males in the offspring. One that will develop a normal gonopodium and one that will develop an elongated gonopodium or ribbon type. Usually, they will use a male with a normal gonopodium to breed with. Those males with elongated gonopodium will be used at shows because it's really beautiful if they are being shown in the shows, just like that. But breeding with ribbon type male is somewhat chancy, so normally, you have to breed non-ribbon male with ribbon female to be sure and will not waste your time waiting. <laughs> So here, let's collect the male ribbon EBM with good pattern and let's start cutting his gonopodium.
And please remember, you don't need to worry because the gonopodium is not an organ. It is a fin where the sperm pass through. So you don't have to react like, ouch, <laughs> his penis has been cut off. <laughs> so here, just watch carefully. And if you don't know where to cut them, just based on your existing normal gapa fish gonopodium as your guide. Well, these spinach fins are tipped with an unpleasant set of gloves, hooks, ridges, and spines. These features evolve very quickly, and they're sometimes the only way of telling one guppy species from one another. What are they for? It is possible that the claws helps males to latch onto females, even those that do not want to mate with them. Alternatively, they might help to hold sperm at the tips of the gonopodia so they can be more easily implanted into the females. <laughs> oh, see that? It's just jump on my hand. <laughs> I guess it's a jump of joy. <laughs> After we circumcise him, let's just now add a few drops of methylene blue and also make sure that the water you're using is clean. And let's leave him for 4 hours onwards. So after 4 hours, let's try to check if he's already recovered from circumcision. <laughs> and let's try to put a female here if he will gonna penetrate her. Split that. So, oh, have you seen it? <laughs> it's getting to it, right? I'm sure our little guy here is more happier now. <laughs> so that's how you do it to enable your ribbon male impregnate the female and just follow our guide here. And by the way, if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated on our upcoming videos. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions, comments, and suggestions, just drop your comments down below. And by the way, I just want to shout out our fellow hobbyists here, J Lord Gapi Next in Line Beta and Gapi Farm from Batangas, Prince Gapi, Carlo Hungayo from Digo City, Judan Largosa, Christopher Mandi, Regan Resentes, Danny Boy Buhoyohoy, Jorin Ornamental Fish Brother from Iloilo. Nikoi S289, Eric Malbias, and to all our fellow hobbyists all around the world who supported our channel, thank you guys so much. And please be safe everyone. To God be the glory. Bye bye.